You're not gonna believe what is happening here. Dun 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 Jen making a meal. How's it coming along? Is it a bit burned? It's ready. <laughs> Have a look then. Oh, oh look at that fresh. <laughs> Looks good actually. Is your friend back? Is your friend back? He missed you. Have you missed him? <laughs> oh. That's a lethal fall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, he's got you. He's, he's got, got you. He's got you. He's got you. He's got you. He's got you. <laughs> Just call him Scott, the dog whisperer. <laughs> so we went to the Junta yesterday to see if we could try and get an appointment. They didn't speak any English, but Scott did really well to try and communicate with them. They said that on Tuesdays you can go to your local like, council office and um, someone should be there, but I think it would have been a bit tricky. We didn't have an actual appointment. We were just kind of going on a whim. Luckily, George managed to sort us, so that's tomorrow on a Sunday they're open, who knew? So last night we went for some beers and wine and cheese with the Vegas. And they gave us some great news that George managed to get us an appointment for our residency permit. So that is tomorrow. So fingers crossed that goes all right. We can um, take our passports down and our contract here and get our permit. Exciting. And even better, Marlene made some uh, Portuguese tarts. They are literally the nicest family. So they surprised us with the Portuguese tarts. So we had them last night straight from the oven. They were delicious. And she even made extra for us to bring home. So I can't wait to eat them later. <laughs> I love the squash one. <laughs> Vegas are coming around soon to do their English lesson which we do on a Saturday for about an hour and then we are gonna go on a bike ride down to the river. Yesterday we went on the first bike ride with Bella and she absolutely loved it, she just ran the whole time so it's gonna be really good exercise for her. We feel like we're getting better at Portuguese, Scott's got a really good grasp of the language now. I can understand most things, still not confident speaking but Spending time with the Vegas definitely really helps getting immersed in the language, so we will see how that continues. Watch this space. For vos, comprare. A farm for you. <laughs> yes. For sale? So we are just about to head out to the local council in Baracal. Barac Parasal. Parasal. Kept <laughs> getting that wrong last night. And we were chatting around neighbours. George is getting us an appointment to try and get our residency permit. So we'll see how this goes. The advice we got in Trancoso the other day was going to be Incredible. a waste of time, basically. <laughs> uh, if we went into there on Tuesday, we would have just been pointed in another direction. So he saved us a lot of time and hassle. hassle so let's go and see if we can get this sorted so we just turned up the junta and it was closed so we are here at this coffee shop meeting him instead Let's see portuguese are very lax so we're just back from the Junta. Well, it wasn't really the junta. <laughs> no, it was a different building altogether. It was a coffee like, shop. <laughs> with, the roads were like this. The junta we had to pass, and then the we junta went. Junta was to, closed. Junta was closed. We actually went to a coffee shop, pulled up outside, and George and his daughter were with us, luckily, 
as we went in and the Presidencia didn't speak a word of English and wasn't even the most receptive to George and his daughter who spoke obviously. He'd never done anything like it before so no. we didn't really understand why or what we needed. D7 like process that. is just really new obviously to the Portuguese and to the English so we took in our documents, he asked for our citizen card which obviously you don't get in the UK so that was a struggle. We passed him our passport and our contract for our property where we are right this second and if we didn't have that then it would have been a no-go. Also at the end of the conversation we didn't know whether it was a yes or a no because the conversation between George and the president was going at a million miles an hour and you couldn't tell whether it was going to be positive there or negative. Were, there were no smiles. <laughs> no smiles. <laughs> and, uh, Very serious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, at the end of the exchange of conversation, they took a photocopy of George's citizen. citizen card and his daughter's citizen card, and from what we gathered in a conversation after, they had to vouch for us, one person for each, each of us. So, without, we, them, we would without have... them, we would have struggled massively if we would have been able to, able to get the residence permit and I've seen online and Jen's seen online that people advise to get a translator to go and have these transactions and or a lawyer uh, or yeah or a lawyer or something and I think you're gonna have to have that basically uh, doing it by yourself when you are here I um, think is where we are it's such a small village that they do, they've never experienced stuff like this I mean maybe in Lisbon or Porto the English is better and they might already have people who apply for the mm. D7 visa whereas here they don't understand it no, so it makes possibly. it difficult. Mm -hmm. But all going well he's going to pass our documents forward and said that by next Sunday hopefully we might have the documents and we are speaking to the president's son in a couple of hours uh, which we wouldn't have who been speaks able, English. who speaks English as well apparently. So hopefully we'll be able to get our medical sign up, which is also needed for our second part of our appointment in the SEF in Garda in August. And if we can get that sorted, then we're good to go for the second part of our D7. So all in all, a productive morning. Yeah. And we've got the neighbours to thank again. So yeah, it's good to have friends um, when you visit or you are coming to do a similar process to what we are so very thankful and uh, yeah we're going to Garda for a coffee and possibly another pastel donata this <laughs> afternoon with them <laughs> and maybe a little bit of shop so last couple of days got our potatoes popping through the strawberries have taken nicely and along the front here bean shoots are coming through as well View of a part of the Stella the Estrella National Park. Look at this hydroelectric system. Boosh. So, Monday morning weighing, I lost two pound. Jen lost two ounces. She's just had <laughs> an eight ounce poo. I'm super skinny now. <laughs> That's the tactics. It normally goes before she weighs herself and she wasn't happy with the two ounces. So now, what's that total? 10 ounces? <laughs> Ten lost win. I said it was quite cheap. One week or two weeks. That's it. That's this week. Come on, then. Let's discuss these. <laughs> Feel fit. After your second win.
So I've just been looking through them here and one of the sections is body water. <laughs> Jen thought I said body order. Body order's gone up this week. <laughs> body order. Definitely, has definitely has. gone up. I'm starting to uh, embrace the stank <laughs> since I stopped using deodorant. Plus, I'm, I'm a van lifer, so I, know, but I wear these not, tops. We're not van lifers now, we're in a house. We have a shower mm, true, and. True. We can shower every day, we can wear clean clothes every day. I still like to use, get my use out the top though, so I've got an excuse. Get some of that on you. Literally no shame. Still believe what they're telling you? Or how about that phone call that makes a man? There's a quarter million miles away. When I can't get a signal on my cell phone line, I guess the phone's will. Sorting out the dog's raw meat diet. You go to the local supermarket, say Tain Oshwush, a carn, paracains. Do you have bones and meat for dogs? Then you've got a big bag of meat and bones for uh, about anywhere between one euro fifty and two euro fifty. And this will do it for a week. Making our way into Bella's. Swimming training spot. She had a good little swim around yesterday. Let's see how this one goes. Portugal tonight guys, nice and cool. Just tell George move the stand for the effigy for the procession, the 20th of this month. And quick chat, tell him they want to start some trees off in pots here. And he's been good enough to give us some fig tree cuttings that have got some nice healthy roots on them already. Turn around for one minute and Bella had already half chewed this one. Hadn't you? You already half chewed this one. Hmm? E you chewed this one, didn't you? Who did this? Who did this? Anyway, she just chewed the end of this branch off. So I'm gonna get these planted up. Got this nice big deep pot from the Chinese superstore. I'm gonna stick some wood in the bottom. It's all right, good girl. God, you think you got beaten. And I'm gonna put some wood in the bottom. Then we have got the compost bin over there. I'm going to fill it up with and then some manure and some dirt so let's get this done this stuff is from the renovation of this place it's already half rotted so that'll serve as compost bottom layer bit of drainage nice bit of compost some eggshells half composted vegetables that'll break down nicely nice layer of horse dung Big trees the day after, guys. I'll cover the top of this big one in rocks just to stop the evaporation a bit. Although the sun isn't really beaming today. That's it for them. Over here is a nice cut field now. Even though it's not used. This field and this field over here were mowed by the farmer yesterday in preparation of the procession which is
it's next Friday. Very devout folk round here. And the procession is of Saint Fatima or our Virgin Mary. And I'm just about to go and help remove some dirt which was swept up from the local chapel. I'm gonna use that on the garden to earth up these potatoes as they get a bit bigger. And we are going to witness the procession and the walk through the village next Friday and then next weekend have some celebrations down by the river in the park for Jen's birthday. Storms are brewing in the distance. This leaves a job only for the storm penetrator. <laughs> You've got to go for the ore. Or penetrator. Storm penetrator. Egg and chips. My home favourite, cut many times by one and only. Grandma H. We're having it with roasties today. Look at them. Oh. Crispy edges. These potatoes are the one for roasties. Fluffy inside. Delicious. Are you enjoying the market? Is that an apple or a strawberry? It's huge, isn't it? Go on, get a, get a good get a good taste of that in your pretty little dress. Um. <laughs> How are they? Really good. I already know they're delicious. Back in Tranquil's World Market, just been to our regular fruit and veg vendor. Can't figure out whether it's a particularly good price, but as uh, the prices of fruit and veggies are going this year, Hello. I think it's not too bad. And they're delicious. So, can't complain. Creatures of habit, back in the same cafe. I got a longo this time. Jen with a little, what did you get? Cappuccino Classico mm -hmm. and a Pastel de Viaggio. Which is? Pastel de Viaggio. Which is a what? I will report back. So just back from the market, got some pimento or peppers, a couple more tomatoes just to fill the rest of that soil. What's the rundown on the cake, what you had in Trancoso? So it wasn't jam, but it was like, it wasn't like red jam like we was expecting, but it was like apparently beans, like made into puree jam. Mm. So it was like white, it's very sweet. And tasted a bit like coconut and almonds. What did you say about nuns? It originated because it was made by nuns. So. Yeah, obviously they had a surplus of beans and it was delicious and sugary. Very sweet. Nice pastry mm. as well. Mm. Okay, let's get these planted. <laughs> 